An army of investigators walking miles through the desert searching for debris and any possible sign of what caused Metrojet 9268 to crash. Investigators from around the world, but Egypt's Civil Aviation Authority in full control. Egypt has adopted uh, a strategy of full transparency when it came to this incident. But with millions in tourism at stake, will Egypt offer a fully transparent and open investigation? Tourism is one of Egypt's largest industries in the warm waters around Sharm el Sheikh, a huge draw, bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars every year. And already Egyptian officials are saying the plane was not brought down by a bomb and that Egypt is safe. What happened is a tragic airline incident that happens, unfortunately, part of, of, of the reality uh, of our world with the millions of flights every day. You are bound to have an incident here or there, but Egypt as a destination is as safe as ever. And two previous crash investigations raised potential questions about how Egypt reaches its conclusions. The Egyptians have the opportunity to issue uh, an unbiased report. We, we've heard very little from them so far, a few contradictory statements. Uh, they're under enormous pressure. Peter Goles headed the NTSB investigation into the crash of Egyptian Air Flight 990 in October 1999. The flight left New York's JFK bound for Cairo. It plunged into international waters off the coast of Massachusetts. Egypt was initially in charge of that investigation. The NTSB took over, but when pilot suicide appeared to be the cause, Egypt launched its own parallel investigation. We became convinced that this was a deliberate act uh, and the pilot, the co-pilot, had flown that aircraft into the ground. The Egyptian investigation concluded mechanical fault caused the Boeing 767 to crash. The NTSB determined First Officer Gamil al Batuti deliberately crashed the plane. The final seconds from the voice data recorder, you can hear al Batuti repeating, I rely on God, in a second voice in the cockpit asking him why he shut down the engines and then begging him repeatedly to help him pull up before the recording ends. And this wasn't the only time Egyptian and Western investigators differed over the cause of a crash. In 2004, there was an accident off of Sharm el Sheikh, uh, 737 crashed. The BEA, the French, and the Americans indicated that they believed it was pilot error. The Egyptians did not agree uh, and blamed it on some sort of mechanical failure. As the U.S. and other countries make their own assessments about why Flight 9268 crashed, the pressure growing on Egypt, the world watching.